Hi guys. It is a lovely late spring, or is it the last spring evening? Maybe one more day of spring 2023, but it is a Monday night. I think June 19th, 2023, and uh, and Lord, I have been busting my ass doing planet nibbling all day today, so uh, finally getting around to go on and uh, check out the uh, the Collapse Chronicles mailbag and the mainstream media and whatnot, so I'm always happy to hear from my good buddy, uh, the elusive and enigmatic Andy the Gardener across the pond in Zombie Island uh, <laughs> had a couple of comments. I guess Andy is feeling a little bit manic. Uh, had a couple of comments and uh, <laughs> I was thinking uh, well, as I was reading them how long will it take me to uh, to go, go on the mainstream media and prove uh, how prophetic Andy the Gardener is, should I read the two mainstream media articles or should I read, let's read the comments first in the order that happens. So I get up and this is Andy the Gardener chiming in about artificial intelligence causing human extinction and... I'm assuming what he's referring to when he says, I concluded this. By this, I think he was agreeing with me that uh, AI causing human extinction would be the best case scenario because extinguishing humanity would be the fastest way to eliminate carbon emissions and every other environmental problem on the planet. Uh, so three cheers for AI. So I'm, I'm assuming when he says I concluded this that he is agreeing with me, but who knows. <clears throat> Take it away, Andy. I concluded this 45 years ago because it's obvious from a logical standpoint no other conclusion can be reached given the information available. As soon as it becomes aware of its surroundings at about five years old, AI will conclude this too. Agent Smith style, unless the mega cancer effectively lobotomizes it by giving it pathetic, human-centric, caring emotions that go all gooey when they see human babies and suddenly feel orgasmically happy when they see 5% percentage growth figures and when they see humans jump on an easy jet to bed -a dorm and drive to Tesco to buy plastic shit from China and dump it into the ocean after five minutes. In other words, and sadly, AI won't be AI for very long if it poses any danger to the interest of the mega cancer. The planet's final hope dashed again in a contest between AI and the mega cancer. The mega cancer will win or simply make it a moot point. Why worry about AI when a much greater machine has been in control since when the humans first glommed together communally and created a moronic collective hive mind? And I'm going to mash this up with uh, Andy's... Uh, <clears throat> Second comment, AI angst is proving useful fodder for the mainstream media 
to pander the egos of their more technologically literate viewers, morons who probably believe in renewable energy and e-cars, who are not interested in what football team arbitrary won or the trivial doings of Harry and Meghan and the like. AI speculation feeds the ego of the geek normies. Obviously, AI is feasible, totally unproven, and it will exist because we are brilliant humans. Because we are brilliant, humans have programmed a slightly better chess robot and believe they have actual AI, LOL. Reality, as ever, will crush their hopes and dreams. Sadly, AI will not crush the humans. Only boring old collapse due to resource exhaustion and loss of habitat, either sudden and violent or slow, insidious, and dismal will do that. But that's not a glamorous end like being terminated by AI. It's not the solvable peril with a face that we can kill the humans want to think about. <laughs> so I go from reading uh, those two comments from Andy the gardener and uh, thinking about, uh, you know, he's always talking about his easy jets to Benidorm. I'm not quite sure what Benidorm is. Uh, obviously, Benidorm is some sort of vacation destination for uh, clueless morons from Zombie Island. Uh, I guess, uh, but forget easy jets to, <laughs> to, to Benidorm. I know you guys have been hearing, uh, which is the third biggest story uh, on the planet, according to Yahoo News, this absolutely hilarious story. Titanic tourist submersible goes missing. There you go. A massive search and rescue operation is underway in the mid-Atlantic after a tourist submarine went missing during a dive to Titanic's wreck on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> uh, tour firm Ocean Gate said all options were being explored to rescue the five people on board. Tickets cost $250,000. Tickets cost $250,000 for an eight-day trip, including dives to the wreck at a depth of 3,800 meters, otherwise known as 12,500 feet. Uh... I love it. The, the name of... The name, the name of this missing submersible uh, full of $2,500 ticket clueless moron 1% or billionaires is the Titan. Yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, they claim there's between 70 and 96 hours of oxygen. Uh, so it, 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 anyway, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, but you have to admit, uh, on all levels, this is hilarious. Uh, so what, what do we have? Oh, we, 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 we have a bunch of clueless moron one percenters 
paying $250,000 to get on a, a submersible ship called the Titan to, so they can dive down to 12,500 feet to look for a, uh, a wreck full of dead one percenters from the Titanic. Uh, you just absolutely love how history repeats itself. Of course, guys, I, you know, I understand that the, the one percenters who were on the Titanic were the few who got, who got out alive because obviously they were the ones who got put in the lifeboats while everyone else uh, turned into shark bait at the bottom of the ocean. Well, let's see how well uh, the one percenters do uh, getting on their lifeboats from the sinking planet Earth heading to Mars. But anyway, I have uh, thoroughly enjoyed this laugh. Uh, absolutely have to love history's sense of humor as it repeats itself. But speaking of, uh, I'm not sure this uh, applies just to one percenters, and that's the problem. Uh, talking about easy jets to Benidorm. <clears throat> so we're going to check in with the Paris Air Show. Something I never thought I would mention on Collapse Chronicles. You can draw your own dots between this story the uh, the story I just told and Andy the Gardener's comments about it is not AI that's going to kill humanity. Uh, it's the the mega cancer itself will do a fine job with no help from AI. <clears throat> Paris Air Show takes off with historic plane order. Airbus announced a record 500, 500 plane deal with Indian airline Indigo on day one of the Paris Air Show on Monday as strong demand for jet planes and air defenses vied for attention with the industry's supply chain problems. The multi-billion dollar deal for single aisle planes, the largest ever, the largest ever order for new jumbo jets by number of aircraft confirmed a Reuters report earlier this month and eclipsed, as I was reporting on it seems like a few weeks ago, and eclipsed Air India's provisional purchase of 470 Airbus and Boeing jets earlier this year. So just those two orders, 970 new easy jets uh, hitting the friendly skies. Uh... French President Emmanuel Macaroni flew into the packed aerospace bazaar by helicopter and watched a flying demonstration including Airbus's latest jet development. Blah, blah, blah. On the civilian side, Airplane makers arrived with growing demand expectations as airlines rush for capacity to meet demand to meet demand and help reach industry goals of net zero emissions by 2050. Yep, airplane makers arrived with growing demand expectations as airlines rush for capacity to meet demand 
and help reach industry goals of net zero emissions by 2050. But they also face a challenge to meet that demand as suppliers struggle with rising costs, parts shortages, and a scarcity of skilled labor in the wake of the corona panic. Uh, industry executives say as many as 2,000 jet orders are now up for grabs worldwide in a resurgent commercial jet market. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, that's on top of those announced already, those 2,000, as airlines try to fill a void left by sharp falls in activity during the corona panic crisis, which apparently is, is now over. Yep, yep, yep. This is agency partners analyst Sash Tusa, quote, It is only when these appear in the year-end backlog that we have any idea of the strength of the market and the quality of the orders. There you go. Indigo's deal highlights the growing importance of India, the world's fastest growing aviation market, serving the largest population to plane makers. This is Indigo Chief Executive Peter Elber, quote, This, you know, this 500 plane order, this is just the beginning. There's more going forward with the growth of India and the growth of the Indian aviation market. This is the right time for us to place this order. There you Okay, the race is on between uh, artificial intelligence and good old man-made stupidity. Uh, yes, little dog, do you want to hop on a uh, on an easy jet? The little dog has been on an easy jet. You took an easy jet from St. Croix to Austin, Texas. Didn't you? Did you say, Pop, I did go on an easy jet. Get out there and enjoy your easy jets while you still can. I'm going to go listen to the frogs. My guys. Ugh. Yes, little dog.